Chris and Evan here with you talking about one of the biggest wins in Campbell's program history. A 17-7 victory in Ohio against the Dayton Flyers, one of the perennial powers in the Pioneer Football League. After a scoreless first half, Campbell came on behind their all-time leading receiver, Aaron Blockman. Aaron Blockman did a great job getting vertical down the football field. Two big touchdowns in the second half when Campbell needed it. And in a game where there wasn't a lot of offense early in the contest, Blockman did a great job of making huge plays in the red zone. Daniel Smith was unbelievable again today. 169 yards rushing. He threw for over 200 yards and really kept some plays alive. Daniel Smith, again, the mobility has been there all season long, but especially on third downs, getting out of the pocket, creating opportunities, throwing out to his tight ends. We mentioned Blockman, but Smith's ability to make a lot out of not necessarily big plays was something that helped Campbell move the chains in the second half. And Campbell's defense, again, they held Dayton to just seven points, and when it mattered on Dayton's final two drives of the game, the Campbell defense, which has more turnovers, more interceptions than any other team in all of FCS, they did it again with two picks. We've been talking about Darian Slade all year long, but he gets his first pick at the biggest moment. A tip ball, he comes right back and takes it into the red zone, and that set up Campbell's win essentially in that fourth quarter. And then the clincher, points-wise. Mitchell Brown with a record-setting kick to put this one on ice. Money Mitch, we talk about him, about his consistency. Not a lot of kicks this year, but when you need it most to execute, and that two-score difference allowed Campbell to relax and essentially win the ball game from there. Folks, with four games left in this regular season, Campbell is one win away from tying the program's all-time win mark. Another tough one as they'll put first place on the line next week in Indianapolis against Butler. We'll talk to you next week from Indianapolis.